It's a whole new world with these young people. They're taking over the whole world. I saw a 14-year-old girl on a street corner yelling at her mother, Mama, what do you know, Mama? You're old-fashioned. What do you know about love? She had 19 kids. What does she know about love? <laughs> she invented the word. That's what she knows about love. And have you noticed the young mother today, 22, 24-year-old mother, how they drive their kids crazy? They call the kid over, come over here, honey, come over here. I don't want you to go through what your mother went through. What did they go through? They terrified the kid. You're gonna go to college. I kill you, but you're gonna go to college. If all the kids in the world went to college, who's gonna clean the fish? Let me explain the word love to your children without using the word sex. We say, let the teachers teach our kids about that. You gotta teach your kids. My father, God bless him, never went to school. But when it comes to sex, mm, I'm a genius, my father. On my 14th birthday, says a Patsy, today you're 14. Tell me, last night when you went to bed, did you feel something in your stomach going to I said, yeah, Papa, there was a gas pain. He said, Patsy, do you know where you came from? I said, yeah, 38th Street and 14th Avenue. He said, I mean, do you know how you was a born? I said, no, Papa. He said, I'm going to explain to you. And when you're 35 years old, you gonna understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is how my father explained it. He said, make a believe I'm the farmer. And your mother, she was the farm. And one night we got together, we planted the seed. And you became the flower. I'm running around the streets. I'm a flower. I'm a flower. I'm a flower. <laughs> and love also means taking mama and papa out once in a while. They're getting old. In the summertime, I say, mama, don't cook. I'm taking you and papa on a picnic. Did you ever take an Italian father on a picnic? They never talk. Cigar in the mouth, knife in the hand. They're looking for the mushrooms. Where are they? Here's one. Here's one. Here's one. <laughs> takes the mushrooms home, you think it was gold that he found. Puts it in a pot of boiling water, takes a quarter out of his pocket. Throws the quarter in the water. He tells you if the quarter turns black, the mushrooms are poison. That quarter used to turn black, it didn't mean nothing. He ate the mushrooms, drank the water, put the quarter back in his pocket again. That's what they call love. How do you explain this to the kids? My son, 11 years old, my son. He threatened me, I'm the father. He said, how do you like it? I ain't gonna graduate. <laughs> Unless you buy me a stingray. I went to the fish market. I got him one this big. I shoved it right in his nose. I said, hey, here's your stingray. <laughs> my mother bought shoes, nine pair for three dollars. Whether they fit you or not, you wore them. High heels, low heels, you wore them. I said, Mom, my shoes are tight. Why don't you fold your toes? <laughs> At Christmas time, we spent $200 for toys on our children. What do they do? They play with it one hour. I'm tired of it. You know what my toy was? When the soul hung down from my shoe, I went, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, And if my father told me that was a horse, I went, bada bing, bada bing. <laughs> That's what they call love today. But what is the answer, ladies and gentlemen? Very simple. Do yourself a favor. Don't ever be ashamed of what you are. Because I'm not ashamed of what you are. <laughs> I'm worried about what I am. I love you. Thank you.